For decades, the United Nations Agenda 2030 has been vying to push the U.S. population out of the country and into small, concentrated, 15-minute smart cities. Preparations have been made quietly behind the scenes. And it doesn't matter if Americans are disinterested, because at least 30 million illegal immigrants are now available to launch these prison cell slave cities. In her recent article, University Migrant Smart Hubs, Private Equity, and the Leveraged Buyout of America, Corey Diggs reports that illegal immigrants are being housed and trained at American universities in a decade-old scheme that provides the ruling class a foreign unregistered workforce. Under the banner of affordable housing, people have been forced out of home ownership, while BlackRock offshoots have been buying up the spoils, mostly through the Blackstone Group, whose top three shareholders are Vanguard, BlackRock, and Capital World Investors. Blackstone has become the world's largest landlord after acquiring rental companies, including the largest student housing company, and converting care homes, offices, hotels, and warehouses into over 300,000 rental units. Blackstone partners with over 100 colleges and universities who run programs where illegal immigrant students are taught mindset, critical thinking, and leadership skills. They are being trained in ESGs, fully immersed into woke culture, and used to manage whatever their bureaucrat masters choose. Starting in 2016, several colleges and universities have become sanctuary campuses. Sanctuary campuses oppose and hinder the enforcement of immigration law on campus, and they provide funding to illegal immigrants. Working under the United Nations, ECAR, every campus, a refuge, say they would like to see every college and university in the world partner with local refugee resettlement agencies to house refugees on campus grounds and provide them with food, care, and training. ECAR has been giving direction and support to colleges and universities to do this since their inception in 2015, and the government has been incentivizing this program. Launched by the U.S. Department of State in January 2023, the Welcome Corps allows colleges and universities to provide U.S. citizenship to illegal immigrants by enrolling them in degree programs that will foster more diverse and inclusive campuses. Funds are provided to give them free education, housing, health care, and social services. The Biden administration has allocated $258 billion towards building 2 million rental properties. A new congressional bill guides local governments to acquire and convert shuttered buildings into affordable housing rentals. This is also being heavily funded through private endowments. Between 1990 and 2021, the average endowment value grew by 423%. Within the past 10 years, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation granted over $11.6 billion to 471 higher education institutions. Colleges and universities have spent the majority of this money acquiring hotels, office buildings, and other real estate in billion-dollar deals with private housing developers, while outsourcing student housing to Blackstone. Middle East investors out of Bahrain, Abu Dhabi, and Saudi Arabia are buying up billions of dollars of student housing, medical clinics, and office buildings near major universities. And sanctuary campuses are hiding the identities of the unregistered students enrolled in these programs. If you were destroying America from within, how would it look different? American universities have been notorious for radicalizing young students and indoctrinating them with destructive, anti-American, communist ideations. And now they are being used to house and train illegal immigrants to carry out the work that no loyal citizen would do. American universities are also building satellite campuses in other cities, mostly in Washington, D.C., over 50 universities have opened satellite campuses in Washington, D.C., 
where thousands of illegal immigrants will be housed, fed, and trained to be compliant drones of the federal government. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.